Included in the Xamarin Community Toolkit is the ability to show pop-ups. So you can just have native pop-ups for iOS, Android, UWP, pop them up, throw them away, do all the things. Let's go check out what it's all about. Before we do anything, let's inspect what we are going to implement today. So here you can see a very, very simple layout um, with the pop-up sample and it just has one button open pop-up. So let's see what that does. If I click that, it opens a pop-up um, and I will show you that by default, um, you can have this light dismiss. So whenever I click outside here, um, it will close, but I disabled that. So you can just say, is light dismiss enabled, set it to false and um, you can prevent the user from going out by tapping to the sides. Uh, what you can then do, you know, you can, you can add all kinds of um, um, content to your pop-up of course. And I've also implemented a button to show you if the light dismiss is enabled um, that you can close it with this button. Now you can even return objects with this pop-up uh, which is something that I will touch upon very briefly but if you want to see that in another video please let me know um, underneath this video and for now let's just go check out how to implement all this awesomeness. Here we are in Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. You can see on the left um, a XAML page that comes with the file new Xamarin Forms template. This is the template template how it looks out of the box, nothing changed. You can see it running on the right in the iOS simulator. This also works with Android, of course, on Visual Studio Windows, um, all the things. And one of the cool things, it's actually described here, make changes and use XAML hot reload. So let's try that out. We're going to change this one and let it say pop up sample and I'm going to save that and do nothing else and it will update automatically on the simulator. Also works on your physical device and all the other things that I just mentioned. So that is really cool. Now code reloading is coming. That's known as .NET hot reload. I've got a video on that. Um, it's available now in preview, .NET preview. Um, wow, this is hard. .NET 6 preview 3, um, but not for Xamarin yet. So that's coming and then you can even change the backing code, all the, all the code behind stuff. Um, with with it's it's amazing. Just go check out that video. Um, but for now, let's look at pop-ups. So in our solution, I've already installed the Xamarin Community Toolkit on all my projects. So right click on your solution, go to manage NuGet packages and um, find the Xamarin.community toolkit. You can install it on all the things. I'm sure you can figure that out. So that's what I already did. Now, whenever you've done that, you want to add a new page that you want to use as a pop-up. So let's just do that. And let's add this here in my shared project, of course, and I'm gonna add a new file. Here we go. And this is going to be a forms one and let it be a content page example. So here we go, let's name it my pop-up and let's do new. So now it adds a new um, XAML page, a content page, and we're going to change this to be a actual pop-up actually. Um, so one of the things I want to do here is add the namespace, name that XCT. If you've watched other videos, then do you know what this is all about? Because you know this imports all the namespaces that you need from the Xamarin, Xamarin Community Toolkit all in one go, just by adding this fancy URL right here. So that's very cool. And what we want to do after that is not make this a content page, but we want to make this an XCT. Uh, pop up. There we go. Now the IntelliSense does something weird here. So let's change this to pop up as well. And then this content page content can go away. So now we have our pop up. Um, don't forget to actually update your um, code behind as well. So this is not a content page anymore. This is also a pop up, which is uh, we have to fix that with IntelliSense or, you know, you can add the using yourself here using Xamarin Community Toolkit UI views. And now this is a pop up. Um, and um, this is the same pop up here. So now everything is back in order. Actually, it says here that this specifies a different base class. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, let's stop the application. Let's build it for a little bit. And well, it says it can't resolve the type, but I'm pretty sure that it actually can. Um, as you can see, the build is still successful. So that is some some weird IntelliSense thing. Um, but this actually, you know, updated now correctly. And here we have our pop up. Now what you can do with that pop up, let's give it a little size right here. So let's give the size and this is this is a shorthand notation, basically. So we can say 300 times 300. There we go. Um, and we can give it a little content, um, which is, you know, the content, it's it's just, I think it inherits from a page, probably. Let's have a look, click here on the pop up. 
um, inherit from this one, and here it's base pop-up, okay. Uh, okay, it's actually a visual element, so that's cool. Um, but you know, we've, we've added a little stuff to it, and um, you can now give it a size, but you can just add any content as you would like. Um, and let's just add a label right here. Text is hello from pop-up. And close this one. Actually, we might want to align that nicely. Vertical options, um, center and expand. Horizontal, expand, there we go. Um, so now it should show up nicely in the center. Um, and now, of course, how we are going to show the pop-up because this is not something that is um, in Xamarin Forms by default, it's in the Xamarin Community Toolkit. So on our main page, let's go back here and actually let's remove all of this stuff right here and i'm just going to add a little button um, i'm going to make it self-closing there we go and say um, open pop-up there we go and in the click handler let's generate that for us let's go to the code behind so now we want to trigger our pop-up how are we going to do that well um, we have a little extension method now so if we go into navigation that's how you would normally um, you know, navigate to somewhere else. You can pop a page, you can um, um, push a page, you can remove a page, do all the things. This is your navigation stack and you can you can do everything with this. Um, and we've created a extension method for that. So now you can do show pop up, pop up. Um, and again, let's IntelliSense fix this. And you can also add the using yourself. So using Xamarin Community Toolkit dot extensions, here we go. And now we have the show pop-up um, um, extension. Um, and we can put a base pop-up in here. So that's the base one that you, you shouldn't use that. That's just for um, internal where we inherit the, the pop-ups from. Uh, but here you can have the um, pop-up. So let's just do new my pop-up, there we go. And whenever I run this now, then my uh, button should come up. And whenever I press that button, I should get a pop-up from 300 by 300 pixels. And it should show that label with hello from pop. So let's go see, I'm gonna click this button, um, open pop-up, here we go. So this is the pop-up as you would expect it to see on iOS, on uh, UWP, on Android. Um, it looks um, you know, more native to that platform because this is more of like the, the native pop-up things. Um, and you can see, you can interact with it. So I could put a button on this actually, you know, let's see if XAML hot reload works with this. I'm not sure if it does, um, but let's add a button here with text, click me, and we can do that. And no, I don't think, well, it works. So you just have to reopen a pop-up. So it doesn't reload automatically, but you have to reopen it, which is fine. So you can click that button right here. Um, that is cool. Um, and whenever you already notice, whenever I click here outside, then you have this light dismissed as it's called. Uh, but you can also, you know, click this button and let that close your pop-up. But by default, you can just click outside of it and it will close. Now, this is also, uh, there. there's a lot of ways to customize your pop-up. Uh, but just to show you how to disable this light dismiss, if that's what you want, um, let's go here to the my pop up because this, you know, this um, has all the things that we want. Um, and you have a thing called is light dismiss enabled. Now you have a lot of other stuff um, is enabled. That's something that comes with visual element, of course. Uh, what else do we have? Of course, the background color is something that you can do. So you can do all the all the default stuff that you can do with um, Xamarin Forms as well. Uh, but one of the things is also the is light dismissed enabled. Um, and if you set this to false, um, now we're going to be in trouble because we cannot light dismiss it and I have no way of actually closing the pop ups. But you know, just to show you um, what you can do. Now if I open it, uh, we still have this one click me but when I click outside of it, it's, it's still here. So you can see I cannot light dismiss it like this, then let me show you how to actually dismiss it with the click of a button or something. So if we go back into pop up now, um, and I actually implement something for this button and let me update the text with close me, that's better. Um, clicked, there we go, new event handler. And um, because again, we're inside of this pop up, it has some some new things, right? So you can say dismissed. And this dismiss has um, has the functionality to actually dismiss this pop up. And you can also see uh, that it takes an object, uh, which can be null. So in this case, we're not going to specify anything, but you can also give it like a return value this way. Um, you should done probably want to implement like the pop up of T so you can um, 
do any object in here so that it knows what kind of object it has to return. Uh, but in this case, you know, if you don't want to return anything and you just want to show this pop up with a little message to the user, then you can do uh, dismiss or dismiss null. You have to do something apparently. Um, so that is something that you can do. Now you already noticed that there was um, other things here as well. So dismissed, uh, it also has an event to know whenever it's dismissed. Um, again, of course, is light dismiss enabled. Um, so there's there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. It has the dismissed event arcs uh, to catch you know the event on the other side whenever something is actually dismissed and you can catch that uh, return result. So there's lots of possibilities. If you want to see a little bit more about this pop-ups, please let me know in the comments and I'll make a video especially um, on that. Um, of course, uh, by the way, while talking about it, the light dismiss is of course also something that you can just set on this example right here. So we can just set is light dismiss enabled. Um, um, false, there we go. And then we don't have to do it here in, in this pop-up, right? So um, let's save that, let's save that, and let's run it again. Let's see what happens now. So the light dismiss is enabled, but now with the button, we should be able to dismiss the pop-up um, ourselves. So open the pop-up, here we go. Light dismiss, still enabled, can't do anything. And whenever I say close me, it goes away with a little fade, so it looks nice. Um, again, this also works on Android and UWP. Now, like I said, there's lots of other customizations possible with the pop-up, but this is just to get you started with um, showing them and how to dismiss them. Um, I've said it before, if you want to see something else, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make something for you. Voila, now you know how to get started with pop-ups with the Xamarin Community Toolkit, Xamarin Forms. I hope this serves you well and you will be able to create all kinds of amazing pop-ups in your applications. Um, I've said it many times, I think, in this episode and all the episodes that I've been doing. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll answer them um, there or join the Discord server or, you know, I will make another video um, about your case with the pop-up. So let me know in the comments below, um, just, you know, below all the links where you can find the sample code and all the other stuff that you can do. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Please click that like button if you like this video so you know it gets recommended to other people and they will be happy campers too. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you like this one. Go check out my other videos and consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that little subscribe button. And you know, if you want to be notified about this cool, awesome content, click that little bell to be notified automatically. And I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.